Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is news that the U.S. government may impose economic sanctions on governments that launch cyber attacks. This comes from an article in the Washington Post who cite two anonymous uh, Obama administration officials who say that the Obama administration is writing up economic sanctions for countries that launch cyber attacks and steal intellectual property. And this news comes as Obama's visiting government officials in China, and it seems like China is one of the biggest targets of these type of sanctions uh, due to attacks like the big Office of Personnel Management breach. Now this is interesting news. It's the first time that uh, a government has talked about economic sanctions for cyber espionage. Now I personally believe there's a difference between cyber espionage between nation states for military purposes and actual uh, cyber spying that is stealing intellectual property property from private companies. And I think what the U.S. government and most private businesses around the world are fed up with are criminals that are stealing intellectual property and using it for economic gain. And I believe these sanctions are mostly focused on those type of attacks. Now it's hard to say whether or not these economic sanctions are a good thing or if they'll have any teeth. In fact, a lot of people worry about attributing cyber attacks. Are we sure that it really is nation state actors and other countries that are launching cyber attacks? Or could it be some criminal in a different country that's just going through another country as a proxy? A lot of things to think about with these sanctions, but it's very, very interesting. Now there's really no practical takeaway to these news other than the fact that if these sorts of sanctions start to go through and become more popular with other governments, it will probably change the information security landscape quite a bit. And as a general aside, this means that network visibility is going to be much more important. We're really going to want to know what types of traffic are going through our networks and where that traffic comes from. So as you continue to build your network security, make sure that visibility is really uh, one of the things you build on in your network. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.